Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm going to go through some different details on the Surface Slim Pen 2. Uh, how it compares to some of the other styluses, is the Surface Pro 7 Plus better with the Slim Pen 2? Is it worth getting? Uh, how do you charge it if you don't have a uh, Surface Pro 8 keyboard or Surface Pro X keyboard? Um, because you can't unless you have a studio or you buy a special adapter, and I haven't seen it yet. I don't know how much that costs, but I'm pretty confident you're gonna be spending close to $150 to $200 for the stylus. So is it necessary? Does it make the drawing jitter improve? And uh, how does 120 hertz play into drawing? Does it improve the quality of the line? Is there lower latency? Are you gonna notice all those different things? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this. Uh, the first thing that we're looking at here is the Slim Pen 2. I'm using Microsoft Whiteboard because it has the worst performance. <laughs> uh, it makes me laugh. Uh, it doesn't stabilize, restabilize the line, so the lines are going to look as sloppy as they actually are. And this is just a, a better way, if, if everything looks perfect because in OneNote it's cleaning the line, then that makes it a little bit harder to understand what's going on. All right, this is the Renacer R520. The last one was the standard Surface Pen. And the first one was obviously the Slim Pen 2. Now, I like this uh, Slim Pen 2, how light it is. It fits nicely in the hand. Uh, the Surface Pen is heavier. It seems to have worse jitter. The R520 is nice. It's light. And it's a little bit better. Well, it's definitely better than the Surface Pen. And this is the new one. This is the R520C. It charges by USB-C. It has a better pressure curve. Um, and what I want to I show is the differences here between the different styluses. The last stylus that you saw cost about $35 versus about $135 with tax. So there's a pretty significant difference. And you can see the Slim Pen here on the Surface Pro 7 Plus doesn't have a leading advantage. Now here, this is the Surface Pro 8. This is the i5 model, and I want you to notice the quality difference in the lines. With the Surface Slim Pen, it's very nice, very clean. I don't have any complaints. Here's the Surface Stylus. This looks about the same as in the Surface Pro 7. And the Surface Pro, or the Slim Pen 2, says is compatible with certain devices. The Surface Pro X, the Surface Pro 7 Plus, the Surface Pro 8, Surface Laptop 4, Surface Laptop Studio, and Surface Duo 2. I know some of you have been asking that is what it's compatible with. I think it should also be compatible with the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Book 3, but it doesn't say that on the box, so we will see. So here on the Surface Pro 8, you can see in general, the line quality is a little better for the better styluses. So you'll notice that the R520C and the Slim Pen 2 have the best quality. Now this is a 60 frames per second, 60 hertz refresh rate on the Surface Pro 8. And this is, um, I'm going to switch it now to 120 hertz. This is 120 hertz right here. And it's very, very uh, similar when it comes to um, what it looks like going on the screen. There's not a big difference. I will show a side by side comparison here um, where you can see this is slowed down to 240 frames a second. And this first one, I believe, is the 120, yes, this is 120 hertz refresh rate. You can see how it's tracking underneath the pen tip. In real time, this is, they both look really good. Now, with 120 hertz refresh, it feels buttery. It feels smoother, of course. And so I, I like it better. Uh, the big question I had when I was looking at this earlier is, Will that refresh rate make the line quality better? That's really what I wanted to know. Will it reduce the lag? So there's pretty close to no lag uh, using the Surface Pro 7 Plus. I don't notice it. It feels very nice. 
Uh, so with the two different refresh rates, with the two different refresh rates on the Surface Pro Seven Plus, uh, on the Surface Pro Eight, I'm sorry. It, it felt nicer at 120 hertz, but I, I really did not see a difference. So if you're expecting to see a difference, you won't. It might feel a little smoother. And that is a setting that you need to, to turn on in the display advanced settings. So I'm, I'm using here, and this should be noted, I'm using an i5 Surface Pro 8. and my hand may have been moving faster or slower. So this is where this is at, it's that system display and advanced settings. Okay, so here I'm using the Surface Pen and I'm drawing this one first. Uh, and I'm using the Surface Pen actually uh, at 60, at 120 Hertz first, uh, because this one shows the most jitter. So if we would notice a difference, we would notice a difference the most here. And as far as I can tell, the difference between 120 hertz and 160 hertz it doesn't make the line quality better. So a number of people have been asking about the initial activation force. I do uh, notice a difference. It's not significant. And in the Surface app, you can adjust the pressure settings. And when you adjust the pressure settings, which I'll show right here at the end of this clip, when you adjust the pressure settings, you can affect this quite a bit, especially if you're using something like the Surface Pen, uh, the one that I'm showing right here. It has a um, real heavy feel to it. You have to, you have to press. Um, it's hard to get light, faint pressure lines. So when you adjust the settings inside of the Surface Pen, inside of the Surface app, then you're, you're going to notice that it improves that a lot. Now it is the heaviest stylus of the bunch, the Surface Pen. So I, again, I don't, I don't like it. I don't use it. I have two. Um, the two that I like the most are the Slim Pen Two. is very nice. I'm happy with that. And the R five twenty C. And I, I, I'll do probably another full. Uh, I'll do another full pen comparison test so you guys can see the difference uh, sometime later. I don't want to do it now. All right, so let's see the Surface app. Let's go here. And it now looks like this. Uh, a bunch of tabs that look like Surface devices. And you're going to see in here mm, Surface Management Extension. We'll look at that later. Okay, so Slim Pen 2, Pen Pressure, and you can adjust here. I recommend 5 or 6 or 4, but not 7. Uh, it just, just is too much. You can test it here. Just click on the pencil, not the pen, and you can go really light and push and go back, and it's, you're going to be able to see a lot more detail here. So it no longer shows the... Um, pressure um, curve like it did before so you can't see any mistakes <laughs> it's fine I don't think it was necessary all right so let's see pen pressure here if this is independent let's set this at three and then check over here yeah it's, it's not per per pen which would be kind of neat but I don't think that the system really knows too well all right, you guys, that's it. Uh, I'm going to be doing a number of different things. I have another video coming out shortly that will show you how to save two to four hundred dollars on a Surface Pro 8 um, with some little hacks. So you'll get the same device, but um, a discount and a couple accessories like this one that will save you a hundred dollars over this one and will get you the same line quality or very similar minus haptic feedback. And you're going to have to charge it with USB-C. So stay tuned for that video if you haven't subscribed yet. This is a great channel if you use a stylus on a Windows tablet. All right, stay creative, and I'll see you soon.